so 2024 maybe hasn't been the best for xbox i mean they've certainly had their you know <laughs> they've certainly had their times for doing some good things they've had some times for doing some bad things really sort of a mixed bag i wouldn't call it like the worst xbox year uh, i might actually call 2022 the worst xbox year just for the fact that we literally got nothing in terms of first party games and the little bit that we got uh like the pentiments and the grounded ended up on playstation and nintendo platform so you know when you look at this and you kind of understand where that's kind of come from and that the industry is kind of going through a little bit of a flux i think part of the flux has to do with you know the fact that gaming is is changing a little bit and you have a lot of developers thinking that there is this audience that exists but they really don't you know i mean i, I don't want to get into the whole thing there but um you know that's been a big problem for developers this generation you know they're like oh well we gotta do this and this you know make sure this and and microsoft's in on that you know that's like i said i love the xbox itself i hate the company behind it uh the things that they stand for and uh, like the in, in general their liberal nature but this isn't really about that this is about something that is very good to see uh just as a fan because you know this was something that that we needed uh you know and uh, maybe bring some normality now listen if developers had listened and done a better job of listening to you know gamers in general this wouldn't be an issue but um i feel like this is definitely something to kind of be excited about i want to get into it what's up everybody i'm crap gamer this is crap gamer reviews back with another video thank you so much for checking it out i certainly do appreciate it um you know you guys are amazing please like it share it out subscribe i do multiple gaming videos a day usually multiple sometimes one but um i, I do gaming content every single day who else can say that you know it's like i try to do a good job being informative yet entertaining and hopefully that comes across to you guys you know i hope that uh this is you know true so anyway microsoft and you know they cut over 2500 jobs in the year phil spencer said that he does feel good about the industry and that xbox business has never been this healthy which i talked about slightly in another video but it doesn't look like we're going to be having to deal with um you know a situation where there's a bunch of layoffs and, and things like that in the future so i look at that as a definite good thing uh, as, as just a fan of gaming in general because you don't want to see too much uh, being cut and you know honestly I, I think that it would be one of the things that uh, what would probably happen in the future anyway but this should be uh, something that I feel everybody will be talking about uh, and, and just good in general for the gaming not just Xbox but gaming so microsoft acquired uh as as everybody knows obviously activision blizzard king in october of 2023 and since then around 2500 people have been laid off from the company's gaming division despite this however xbox boss phil spencer says the xbox business has never been more healthy in an interview he actually said that uh growth in cloud gaming and console usage for why he thinks xbox is doing well at the moment saying the business is performing right now, and I think that means a more healthy future for hardware and the games we build. Uh, the most recent Xbox layoffs were in September, shortly after which it was announced that Microsoft shareholders were set to get an increase in their dividend payout starting this month, 10% extra, netting $0.83 cents per share rather than $0.75. Cents. CEO Satya Nadella is also getting a 62% increase in his compensation for his role. Millionaire, just getting more millions, I guess. So uh, he said, I feel pretty good about where the industry is going. To reach new players, we need to be creative of new business models, new devices, and new ways of access. Uh, so far in 2024 alone, over 13,000 people have been laid off in the video game industry. In 2023, 10,000 people lost their jobs. So Xbox fans at least had some fun recently with the arrival of Death Stranding, director's cut to the console. And there's Indiana Jones and the Great Circle to look forward to. Elsewhere, in his recent interview, Phil Spencer discussed the likelihood of new cross-platform releases, which I already covered in uh, other various videos. But it's nice to hear that you know the gaming industry is um, sort of healing a little bit. I've said this for a long time. You know what Microsoft needs to do is you have to be able to, or not just Microsoft, but developers in general, you have to be able to kind of get these. Um, 
the, the the developers to understand that you have an audience, right? And if you have an audience, you cater to that audience. You don't sit there and um, you know not cater to that audience. You know, I would love to see how you know how people kind of come to the conclusion that they want to be taught gender ideology or you know all this other stuff that ends up being in uh, video games lately. It's like focus on great characters, great gameplay, and a great game. And don't worry about checking off boxes. And I've mentioned this numerous times. I think gaming would be just so much better off. If you look at like how gaming was in the past, they really were in, in a much better place. And one of the reasons was was because they were just focused on fun. You know, they were making kick-ass games and everybody was excited. And now we just see that, you know, people aren't excited and people are like, you know, just, just things that maybe should be uh, a hit aren't a hit you know like stuff that we loved before like dragon age games that they, they don't resemble anything that we we remember from back in the day and you know it's just unfortunate that this happens the way that it has happened you know what i mean and it's like we get excited for stuff like hey there's a new mass effect on the way but is it even worth getting excited about that um you know I, again that's something that we kind of have to look into and say you know, it'll it'll really depend on um, what's going on. You know, so for me anyway, I, I hope that this is a trend to, to things. And 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 you know, with the recent elections and stuff, um, you know, I make it well known which side I was on on that fence. Uh, hopefully, a lot of this stuff um, gets weeded out. You know, we can get back to some normalcy. Just have fun with games again. Like that's what I want to see. That's that's why I'm a gamer in the first place because you know. It's all about the games. It's all about having that fun. It's all about, you know, doing the things that uh, get you excited about gaming and, and that bring gaming to a, uh, a better space, you know. So hopefully that's what we get. Uh, I would love to see a world where, you know, like the gamers and stuff are, are happy. And, you know, because I think there's enough gaming for everyone, you know, um, you know. Uh, it, it's it's really something that there already is kind of that thing for everyone and now that, that we see that that's already the thing you don't have to pander anymore you don't have to do that stuff so you know focus on making great games you know who cares if a if, if a woman's got some jiggles going on or whatever uh you know just just make games fun they're eye candy they're escapism and I think that the developers would be much better off that way. If you look at something like um, like that Space Marine 2 game, right? Just a fun throwback to funner times. And the game did well. It exceeded expectations. And that's really important these days. You know, it, it's kind of funny because I feel like Xbox is really going... And I know we say this all the time, so it's not even funny. But Xbox is literally... Uh, going into a situation where they have some quality games coming up and you know obviously uh, that could help the industry i think the industry is in definite need of xbox games being you know looked at as a um as a, as a good thing you know what i mean like we haven't really seen that happen so far uh you know it's like most xbox games haven't been that extra bit of quality that you know we were expecting and i hope that 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 we that that kind of changes before too long you know um i really kind of i think that people underestimate what xbox is capable of because you know they've been such a in such a bad place for so long that you know people don't really believe or accept that they can you know break break free from that you know and and that's something that they're gonna have to struggle with to to kind of get out of you know and maybe they can maybe they can but you know at the end of the day it's going to require a lot of work on their part and it's going to require um you know a lot of work on uh you know the, the the corporate side like i feel like the corporate side is going to um you know be be a situation where uh they have to allow the people at the actual xbox working there to do some things you know whether they like it or not like yeah they might give up some short-term profit but you're going to get the long-term gains down the line and i think that's where you have to kind of let things kind of understand that that's how things got to be you know so anyway how do you guys feel about this do you guys think that xbox is helping to heal the industry a little bit um i would love to um 
you know see see how things kind of work out and see how things kind of play out uh you know it's it's really going to be an interesting time for for everyone so i'll link this in the description let me know what you think rack them up fact them up crap gamer them up thanks for watching crap gamer out